All right, so I'm going to show you how to set up everything with tnotifier here. Um, so you go to tnotifier.net. Uh, this is your dashboard that pops up. Uh, first thing you need to do, go to uh, guides. Go to uh, OBS CLR plugin setup guide. And download the OBS CLR plugin from here. And you just get the 32-bit or 64-bit version and extract that to the uh, OBS plugins folder. After you do that, uh, you want to go to widgets and create a widget. And so if you want a one that does followers, hosts, donations, you can have it on one, but then you won't be able to have it on multiple places on the screen for different things. Like for example, if you want uh, donations at the top of the screen and followers at the bottom of the screen, you have to do two widgets. So we'll do one for followers. Or alert. Uh, for the background, that doesn't matter. Um, where this color isn't going to matter. Uh, alert background. Use the default. E notifier background, uh, it's just a, a square or a rectangle. This is what color that'll be. Um, we can just pick whatever. Uh, if you use a custom image, then like a banner, then this background or does it or this background color doesn't matter. And our alert text for sound, um, set your volume if whatever sound you want. If you want to use a custom sound need to convert it into an OGG format. Uh, right here, like OGG. Um, so, and you can do that online. Just uh, you search for just like a uh, audio file converter. Um, you can turn them into OGGs. Uh, and then host sound donation sound if you want to do any of that. Uh, text to speech. I don't really like using this personally. I kind of think it's annoying, but some people like it. Uh, the height and width, set that to be however you want. For if this is the default that you're using the norm, uh, normal T notifier alert, then this will just be a rectangle that's 1024 by 60. And the alert time. Uh, with your alert time, if you're using a custom song, make sure that the alert. Time is as long or longer than the song. Otherwise, it'll pop up and then go away, but your song will still be playing. So, uh, 8,000 milliseconds is eight seconds. We don't want an, an alert delay. Arial, make our font size a little bigger. We'll go to like 30. All right. Um, for the text settings, uh, you can make it, you know, say whatever you want. So, like, Username, like welcome, person. Welcome, username, if you're following. Uh, your animations, this is just how it comes in and leaves. So if we put this, say we'll put it, have this come up from the bottom, we could do something like, uh, Like slide in up and slide out down. This is going to kind of like come up and go back down. Uh, and you can kind of play around with all that stuff. And then uh, this custom CSS, if you're using a, if you want to do a custom banner, uh, then I'll have to do some CSS and I'll post the code for to do all that right down below in the description. So we'll create the widget. All right, and now we have our widget made here. And what? I double made it on accident. <clears throat> okay, so next we need we need to go back into the widget and get this API key. Uh, this is basically what uh, you're going to use to send it over into OBS. So 
open up a notepad and paste that API key just right there, just for now. Right, and then we'll go back. And the next thing we need to do is grab the URL that we need to use for a widget. So this is tnotifier API widget. We'll copy this. And we want to open up OBS and go to global sources. Add, add CLR browser. We'll call this whatever we want to title it. Okay. Uh, right here in the URL, this is where we need to paste this T notifier slash API slash widget URL and replace API key with the API key we copied from our widget. So this is how OBS knows to get notification from T notifier. Uh, the height and width need to match what we put in T notifier. So it says 10, 24, and the height was 60. Okay. And we have it right there and click OK. Then now we'll go to sources over here, add global source and our follower alert right there. And then you can just kind of position it wherever you want. Now to make sure it works, you can go back over to widgets and T notifier. And Go to our alert or an alert and then just click launch. And the only time that you need to open this up and go in and like actually launch it is when you're testing to make sure it works. Uh, you don't ever need to actually open this up once you have it all set up in OBS. Uh, this systems, this method is uh, pretty much just to set it and forget it. And we'll send our test notification. This is an automatic message from Twitch TV. We are having technical difficulties with the Kappa emote. Please type Kappa into your chat to make sure it works. Thank you for your cooperation. You see, this is like an example of if you don't let your alert sit up there long enough, that time's too short, then the song plays and the alert goes away. So, yeah, that's. Pretty much it to set up OBS with T notifier. Um, that's and then there's there's more things that you can kind of play around with. Um, that's just the basics to get set up there. And then I'll make a couple more videos about um, how to do like some of the custom banners and stuff if you want. So yeah, let me know how this works. And if you have any questions, just uh, hit me up on Twitter or just uh, leave a comment.